Today will yield answers in what caused the Amtrak crash last May. Strong storms in Texas cause a Texas-sized problem. And Golden State basketball loses at home for the first time ever in this year's playoffs. Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 17, 2016. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Megan Judy. And I'm Mike Carlson. And I'm Tim Schmidt. Golden State lost. Yeah, they at yes. home. At yeah. home. And that's the big deal because they that has not happened in the playoffs. That's happened not for a long time. <laughs> that... Columbia's public school science department is teaming up with National Geographic and Stevens College to host Columbia's first girls-powered science event later this morning. KWMU8's Meg Hilling is live at Stevens College to tell us what we can expect from today's event. Columbia City Council halted student housing development downtown at last night's city council meeting. Mayor Brian Treese's proposal would stop building and demolition permits downtown until December 1st. Council members say more student housing may not be needed with the drop in enrollment at MU. There are also concerns if the sewer system can sustain the waste for more development. As a person who likes art and such, I think that the architecture of downtown is very unique and beautiful. One of the reasons why I love living here. There was some opposition to the freeze, though. The measure passed by a 5-2 to two vote. Opponents said it's important to encourage economic growth downtown. As the Blues keep pushing ahead. Sports fans and online shoppers beware. The Better Business Bureau warns of suspicious websites when browsing for fan gear whose websites claim to offer authentic team apparel and memorabilia at impossibly low prices, which might be low quality, the wrong size, or not delivered. Very often when you see a website that turns out to not be real, there are all kinds of little things where the language is wrong, where something doesn't look quite professional, where something doesn't look quite right and looks a little sloppy. People really need to pay attention when they see those things. You can also go straight to your favorite team's website or shop at retailers that have contracts with professional teams to make sure you're buying the real thing. Picture an 18-wheel truck barreling down the highway with 80,000 pounds of cargo and no one but a robot at the wheel may seem like a frightening idea even at a time when a few dozen of Google's driverless cars are cruising city streets in California, Texas, Washington, and Arizona. But one engineer who helps steer Google's self-driving technology is convinced autonomous big rigs will be the next big thing on the roads to safer transportation systems. Anthony Lewandowski left Google earlier this year to pursue his vision at, San Francis at a San Francisco startup that he co-founded with two other former Google employees and another robotics expert. The plan is to equip trucks with software, sensors, lasers, and cameras so they will eventually be able to navigate the more than 22,000 miles of U.S. highways on their way while a human driver naps in the back of the cab or handles other tasks. Singapore's authorities are investigating today Hyundai vehicles following reports of accidents involving sudden acceleration while reversing. South Korean consumers have lodged complaints about accidents they believe were caused by sudden unintended accelerations, but past government probes have found no evidence that this was linked to faulty vehicles. Google released a new app that could increase your productivity even further. And how a household pet put its life in danger to save a little boy. Plus, food trucks can be found in many cities across the country, but one food truck's aiming to please more than just your taco craving. We'll tell you all about it after. A California boy and his dog are both lucky to be alive after a rattlesnake My attack. My gosh, NBC's Ken Mashinki has the story of how man's best friends... American's biggest financial regret is not saving enough, whether for emergencies or retirement. Bankrate.com released a survey today and found 75% of Americans say they will have financial regret. 42 million Americans, or about 18% of those surveyed, regret not saving for retirement early. 13% regretted not saving enough money for emergency expenses. Female involvement in science. Find out how, coming up next. And you are looking live over Columbia Regional Airport. It is 4.55 in the morning. KMU8 News will be right back.